Welcome to uh, Minnesota Vikings Chat, the weekly podcast, minnesotavikingschat.com, featuring me, your host, David Erickson, and I'm with Rick Birmingham in Minneapolis. How are you doing, Rick? Very well. Very good. Rick and I uh, play football every week, so we bring uh, pr that perspective uh, as football players as well as uh, fans to the uh, to the podcast, and uh, we are all about the draft uh, this month. Uh, the draft uh, starts on April 25 and lasts for three days this year. The Vikings have several needs. They've got 11 picks in the draft, two first-round picks, um, so they've got the flexibility to move up, and uh, they've got a glaring need at middle linebacker, and we're looking at linebackers this week. So uh, Kevin Reddick uh, out of North Carolina, six uh, foot one, 243 pounds, 32 and a quarter inch arm length, nine and three quarter inch hands. 4.72 40-yard dash, uh, uh, bench press reps of 23. Uh, what do you think of him? Uh, he was the strongest of the bunch. Um, that was nice. He uh, he had problems with his ACT. He had mono, so he missed some spring practice. He, Looks like Robert Smith. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, that took him forever to start with us. Uh, he has lots of exp experience blitzing. I don't know that he'd be doing a ton of that with us. Um, you know, it would be nice to have another option. Uh, it doesn't seem like he changes direction quite as fast as some of the other guys that are ahead of him. Um, to me, this is Jasper Brinkley. Uh, maybe not quite as fast, but um, which we got by with. Um, and maybe we have to put a focus on the running without Winfield, but uh, it's not going to be get me super excited. We need a middle linebacker. You know, I I'd take him late. You know, which is probably still going to be the second round. But yeah, um, I he does. They do blitz him a lot, and uh, I was asking myself whether he likes contact or not because I thought a lot of the blitzes that he had, he seemed to pull up once the running back uh, uh, came into came into his. Uh, area to pick up the blitz. He didn't seem to uh, want to blow right through them, uh, but hesitated when, when he was about to you know, get contact. So that sort of struck me uh, from, the, from the film that I watched. Uh, he said that he, it, the, the, the profiles on him say he's a, he's, a, he's a smart guy. He doesn't freelance, which is, you know, we want our, our, our defensive players to play their position, so that's good. Um, but yeah, it looks like uh, I think you're right. I think we, if we want to, if we want to find find a solution for the linebacker position, we need to take somebody within the in the first day. Uh, so that's uh, let's wrap it for this week. Uh, this has been the Minnesota Vikings Chat podcast at minnesotavikingschat.com. Rick, you want to uh, shamelessly promote yourself? Get I guess I think people should share these uh, videos or yes. podcasts. Yes, that's my shameless promotion. If, if, <laughs> If you like the podcast, make sure you uh, like it on on YouTube. Uh, if you've got something to add, if you've got uh, some uh, linebackers you like that we haven't covered, uh, talk about them in the comments. And uh, be sure to subscribe to this and, podcast. And give us your opinions before the draft, or it doesn't count. Exactly, exactly. Mm -hmm. uh, my name is David Erickson, the host of MinnesotaVikingsChat.com, and uh, this is a wrap until next week or probably before next week, because the draft is next week. Uh, go Vikings. Go Vikings. <laughs>